Hey guys, it's Ames. Welcome to my channel. Here is my reaction to The Suicide Squad. It's been a minute. Girl's got a life, and I'm not a pro YouTuber yet. Let's dive into this. Harley Quinned myself up here. This was the Quentin Tarantino of superhero movies. It's everything I've ever asked for. I was able to go to the movies, and this was a banger! I totally forgot the movie came out, and I was like, oh, I knew this was directed and written by James Gunn, so for people who don't know, he also was the writer and director of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and 2. 2, I didn't love so much kind of the stuff that happened, but I'm just gonna say it. Spoil, spoil, spoilers. If you haven't seen the movie, don't watch this. Just click off. See ya. If you have, stick around. I think if you are a fangirl, fanboy, you're gonna love this movie. They were not afraid to kill people. Blood, guts, gore, all my favorite shenanigans. And if you know me, you know I love Tarantino and you know I love his films. I love the way they told the story. I love the way James told the story. He did some really awesome retro screen captions. I do think that there was some pacing issues, but the comedy was good. Lots of people were laughing in the theater. Lots of guys were laughing. I feel like I'm, I'm a Tom, Tom gal. I feel like I, get, I throw down with the dudes. And yeah, I had some good laughs. Maybe I just don't love John Cena as much as everybody else. But yeah, there were some really awesome, gruesome killing moments in this show. And obviously me, I went to see my girl, Harley Quinn. And Margot Robbie said it from day one when I found out she was casted as Harley Quinn because my second favorite character of all time is Harley Quinn after Catwoman. I should, I should do a video. I should do a video ranking my favorites. All my favorite female characters come from the DC universe, so I'm always like, I gotta get in there, I gotta see it. But I think my, my favorite was the Batman animated series in the 90s, and Arlene Sorkin voiced Harley Quinn, and, and so I feel like Margot Robin having done Wolf of Wall Street and having to prep for that New Jersey accent really just primed her for this role. She's also wicked, and I think she really wanted to do justice to this character. She really, I think, did a lot of research and really wanted to make fans happy. Um, I don't love like her her other costume that was that they did in Suicide Squad, but this time they really tried to pay homage to her original Harley Quinn outfit, so it was cool. But I felt like she wasn't in it long enough. I was like, you're in it for five minutes, put it back on. But at least we got some of that. So <laughs> I was waiting for the payoff. I was like, just kill him already because I, I didn't really like that love scene that they did. I felt like it was a little bit slow, but it, it was cool for her character and like her getting over Mr. J. Oh, she'll never be over him. They did a really great job just from the opening sequence, not being afraid to kill anybody. R.I.P. Boomer. R.I.P. Blowing off Blackguard's face in the first minute was insane. They just got down and dirty and they just did all of the things. Um, they did a really great choice with actors and the characters. Rat Catcher 2! Oh, I just love her! She's so amazing! Polka Dot Man. Awesome. Again, I like, don't love Peacemaker, but he had some really cool scenes. Just He's not one of my favorite, but Bloodsport. <laughs> Idris Elba. Like, he was amazing. Give him an Oscar. He's in a freaking superhero movie and he's, he needs an Oscar. Such good jokes, his character, his mercenary stuff. Like, I loved it. I loved all the fun that they had with this. I didn't love the little alien starfish bad guy, whatever it was. I think maybe it's like meant to be kind of, is it meant to be kind of cheesy? I don't know if this is a huge character. So I watched a lot of the Batman animated series growing up. So a lot of my favorite characters are kind of within that, within that kind of realm of that Batman. And um, so I, I need to dig up some more stuff about Starfish, but I mean, whatever, it was cool. And little Sebastian, the little rat, Sebastian, like obviously fan favorite guys. What a cute little dude, he's the cutest. Oh, the Taika with TD. Oh, just his little, his little cameo, his little cameo. And King Shark was really awesome, voiced by Sylvester Stallone. I was just all around fun. I mean, I definitely think it's like in the high 80s. I don't know if it's a 92 Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, people are gonna hate you for saying that. Definitely higher than Suicide Squad. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to see that movie. And like the the intro was cool in Suicide Squad, but then like you're the whole time you're like no. So I was so stoked that they didn't use any of those stupid CGing that DC has done, which makes it look so cheap and crappy, and you're just like, this is fake. This was a movie. Like, you felt the story, you felt the characters, 
and it had like a grittiness to it, some retro-ness, like the, the, the tone that they use on the film. Iola Davis, oh, I love her. She's such a brilliant actress, but you know, they got some payback on her. Side Squad got a little bit of revenge. I'm excited to see where they're gonna go next because they've got some stuff, so they can't F with them right now. R.I.P. Flay. R.I.P. I really thought that it was going to be him at the end that they saved, but I guess it wasn't. I guess it was not. That was, that was too bad. Suck to get killed off in one of those movies. You just want to be in those movies forever. And R.I.P. Polka Dot Man. And unless he went to the like, wow! <laughs> it was really cool to get a Michael Roker at the beginning as Savant, and then you're just like, hot damn. Hot damn, don't introduce all these characters, and then... Milton! Ah, oh, Milton! Who's Milton? What I would do to be in one of these movies. And this is like even before. I think I'm gonna do a video because my favorite characters, mostly in the DC universe, that's why I was just so heartbroken with Suicide Squad and everything. I mean, Wonder Woman's been good. I didn't love Wonder Woman 2 um, as much, but I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do the video. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna do a breakdown of my top five Marvel characters, breakdown of my top five DC characters. Top five of my X-Men characters? X-Men. I just love the X-Men. These are hard. These are hard. I know who my true, I don't want to spoil, I don't want to spoil who my number one favorite is, but um, it's the reason why I wanted to be an actor, is my favorite character. Check my notes. Let me check my notes. I didn't want to be one of those people in the movie theater with my phone out, and I was just like, oh, I, can't, I can't write my notes. Cool comic book vibes with wordy intros that just melt into the background. It, it was it was real cool. Wicked music score. Great choice in music. Great choice in music. People don't realize how much sound plays a part in movies. It's it's it's, a, it's everything. Yeah, I think James Gunn. I don't know if he felt pressured to actually get a good DC movie out there, but I think it's funny. It's like he did Guardians of the Galaxy, and then they hire one to do this, like. Oh yeah, whatever. All in all, good vibes. You should go see the movie. It was totally fun. And if you can, wherever you live, you should try to go see this movie in theaters because lots of blood splat, lots of blood, a lot of explosions, lots of everything. Like that one scene with Harley Quinn where she <laughs> getting tortured. It's like, come on. She's like, torture number one of knowing how to be tortured. So it's like, you can't mess with her. But yeah, she did some really cool stuff. The javelin throwing was really awesome and all the stunts that they did with javelin. And the cartoony scene that they did with her when she was escaping was really awesome. This is mostly me just getting out in the world, finally, you know, COVID and all that stuff, going to see a movie in the theaters, solo. That's all I ever wanted in my life, was to see a movie again. I never thought I'd be in the movies again. And I'm so thankful that movie theaters are are still open. I, I rented a ton of movies on Cine Cineplex app. I rented everything that came out that was led by a woman, directed by a woman, make sure that they knew that there was a, a demand for this. But they have a lot of room to do a lot of fun stuff and they can keep getting some really good directors. Oh, I didn't even talk about The Thinker. The Thinker was real cool. Um, they did a good job. Like Zack Snyder just, he tried to make them too dark. Where this movie was dark, but felt real and relatable and you felt like you were there without having to add all this superficial CG work on top of everything. It was, it was gritty and you were there and you felt like you were on ground zero. Like you felt like you were there fighting with these guys. And that I think is probably what, and along with his story that he wrote, really helped make this movie so much better than Suicide Squad. Oh my God. I mean, was Jared Leto just crazy because he played Joker? Was he like too crazy on set? It'd be cool. They just need to do a Joker and Harley Quinn movie. Everybody wants that. Everybody wants it. Because the Joker is just such a top villain. He's such a main character. Obviously the animated series with Mark Hamill voicing the Joker. It's one of my favorite voice actors. Like that's the, one of the best voices for Joker. Oh, let me I tell you. But like He's just too villainy. There's too many things you can do with the Joker, so he just he needs his own his own movie. He always comes back. But maybe people are over. Maybe we've just like seen that. Like 
Well, everyone who's played the Joker, like Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, you know, Jared Leto, I think we've, I think we've had such great performances by the Joker, and maybe we just need new things. Like, it was so awesome seeing all the other DC characters, and then you're like, no, like, how wicked it was to see everyone's faces and arms and everything get blown off, burnt off, and everything. But you're just like, oh man. So it was really fun seeing new characters and everything that they can do now with CG. It's pretty cool. So, did Polka Dot Man, did he maybe, is he maybe not dead? Is Polka Man, he looked, Polka Dot Man looked pretty dead, but maybe he's not dead. That was a really awesome scene. I'm a fucking superhero. Such good comedy with Polka Dot Man and his mom stuff. That was, that was really good. But yeah, this is a hard R rating. Tarantino, Apocalypse Now, like, you're, they're on the beach, they roll up, they're just like, pow, 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 pow. It was rap. <laughs> they were, it's like, what else do you want in a movie? A lot of these characters that they chose, they're more like off the beaten path. They're not always our favorite. It's not like the Penguin and Two-Face and the Joker, all, but all those people, like, we, we've always seen them, so I think that's why it's cool to have a different type of storyline. I think Harley Quinn is, she's not going anywhere. I think she's so good at Harley Quinn. Such a fun character. She just needs to be in these movies. I think it's the female energy and she's so badass and she kicks ass. Yeah, there are some characters we didn't get back like Katana, we didn't get Enchantress, we didn't get Deadshot. Uh, maybe they just felt like they needed to switch it up. Maybe, I, I haven't read anything. I don't know if they just didn't want to go with those characters again, but I think I think it was good. I think it was good that they stepped away and started anew, kept some good ones, brought back in other characters. No one was safe on this. Nobody was safe. Oh man, it was almost like the Game of Thrones of Quentin Tarantino. It's like, who's gonna die? Who's gonna get their head blown off? Captain Boomerang shot his boomerang and just... Hello, Kill Bill. Has anyone seen Kill Bill? It was so amazing. Got some definite blood and gore, so if you can't handle that shine, don't go see this. Definitely hardcore R-rated movie. Uh, but go see it, because it's so good. It was so fun. All in all, it was great. Maybe a little bit of a slow pace in some spots. End boss, kind of a little funny, but interesting you know we got like a hint of zombies in there and that was like really fun so maybe it just like checked off all these boxes of like comic book nerd peoples and so yeah it was all around fun hey guys let me know what you think i'm let me know if you liked my other background before when i had all my stuff around or if you just like me using my acting curtain i mean i don't know it's where i do auditions so my friend's coming over so i didn't and to, i'm helping with her oh my friend's coming over, I'm helping her with an audition, so I didn't feel like flipping my room around for like 10 minutes to record this. Fan reaction! Oh yeah, let me know. Do you like the blue screen? I don't even want to like copy all the other people out there, all my nemesis that get the videos out within like two minutes of the movie coming out, but no big deal. If you liked my video, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't ever miss a video. It really helps my channel grow and uh, giving you a big... Big, big Suicide Squad hug. <laughs>